not running. Switch is still on. Fuel is still on. Still has fuel. Hmm, I think this may have died. Let me uh, try to, I didn't bring a tripod out here, but let me try to crank it. See if I can set the phone. Oh, you can't, can't see, but give me just a moment here and I'll try to crank it. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, the uh, pull handle, that's as uh, far as it'll go. So, she's locked up. This is a little over 291 hours, excuse me, 281 hours. Uh, the 60338 finally died. Uh, 69381, still running like a champ. But uh, 60338, it's been rattling for, you know, since about the first hour. Sounded like it would die at any given moment. Held on until uh, 281 hours uh, and give uh, 281 hours, maybe 30 minutes, something like that. I'm sure that it had to do with the rattling, which ironically enough had stopped uh, just, just a little bit ago. It, it, the engine had started sounding a little better, but I guess that's it for the 60338. Uh, oh, also, since I've got the video, let me move this one over. I noticed the other day, look at the gas tank design. It's like a totally different lip design on the gas tank between the 69381 and the 60338. Just thought that was interesting. It's a rounded and thinner, more protruding and thicker. But anyway, 281 hours, probably well past the normal life expectancy that anybody would ever put on one of these. Uh, but if you can get a good 60338, apparently, you know, hold up for, okay, not as good as a 69381, still run like a champ, as is my personal one. Now, these are just two test models. But anyway, just want to follow up, 60338, dead, 281 hours. Thanks.